Here we're going to look at question 27 from the NSA 2018 paper. In this question, we're told of how radioactive isotope decaying. We're then given a graph of how the activity of this radioactive isotope changes with respect to time. The question goes on to ask us what is the background rate of radiation and what is the half-life of our isotope? So to find both of these, we should go ahead and look at our graph. The easiest to find is probably the background rate. This is the rate due to background radiation and not due to our isotope. To find it, we can look at our graph after a large amount of time. After a large amount of time, our isotope should have decayed to the point where its activity is negligible. Therefore, the only activity left should be due to the background radiation. So after a large amount of time, we can see that our graph approaches the count rate of 20, and therefore, our background rate shall be 20 counts per minute. Now we need to try and find the half-life of our isotope. So this is the time it takes the activity of our isotope to half. One way of doing this is by looking at the initial activity of our isotope and finding out how long it takes this to half. So, if we look at our graph, we see that the total initial counts being detected is 120 per minute. However, 20 of these are due to the background radiation. So, initially, our isotope is going to be emitting 100 counts per minute. Therefore, to find the half-life, we should find the time when the isotope is emitting 50 counts per minute. Now, on our graph, this should be measured at 70 counts per minute. This will be because 50 counts are coming due to the isotope, with the remaining 20 due to the background radiation. So reading off of our graph, we can see that this comes in at a time of 40 minutes. Therefore, the isotope half-life is going to be 40 minutes. Therefore, since the background rate is 20 and the isotope half-life is 40, the answer shall be A.